So this bit here acts as a swale. So this low part gathers all the water during the winter and then it passes it out both sides so I don't have to water at all. So you can see these plants here, they've never been watered so um, they're in pretty good shape. Anything that doesn't survive, well, it's just in the wrong place. So there you go. Lots and lots of stuff that you see here all the time. Nothing wildly exceptional. Um, what we are gifted is obviously a great big space, which is lovely. This is an acre. We're in a small hamlet, um, the hamlet that's uh, part of the commune of Fougere. Uh, this land was previously, some years ago, a vineyard, a vineyard full of, I think, Grenache. And um, so it looked absolutely diabolical when we got it because they'd all just been taken up and uh, the place was just grey, well, grit, as you can see. This is what we garden in. So it's, there's no topsoil whatsoever. So uh, we had to reform the land when we built the house. So it all had to be terraced, which is what you can see here. Um, and because we're not on mains drainage, it meant that we had to have a uh, septic tank. And the septic tank has a, um, uh, well, it's called a champ d'épandage. So it's, I don't know what you call it, a soak away, I suppose you call it in English. And um, what that gave us was in fact a flat area. So let me just turn you around. So this bank here, I leave completely wild. Uh, apart from some few things that I've sown rather wild. As you can see, the Californian poppies are very, very wild. Uh, and then uh, the great advantage of having the soak away is that I could, I had a flat area on which to put a vegetable garden. So what you can see here, a couple of, we go through a couple of espalier apple trees. Uh, and this arch will have snake beans growing over it by the end of the summer. Uh, and this is the vegetable garden. It's completely dry garden, uh, sorry, dry garden. It's completely uh, no dig garden, so it's never been dug. And I just add more compost each year. And as you can see, it's um, not really very weedy at all because it's very easy to hoe. Uh, and so I managed to grow a huge percentage of the of the vegetables that we need to eat. So this is May the 21st and as you can see we've got absolutely tons of stuff in. It's all a bit of a wreckage that end. That's where the chickens live. Here are the girls themselves. Here are three of the girls. There's another one who's actually laying at the moment. Um, so uh, and there are just lots more vegetables as you can see. So this is the other end of the swale, walking along in front of the, what's effectively the back of the house, but it's the part of the house that has a view. So uh, this is one of my favorite areas of the garden. I absolutely love it. It's completely haphazard. Inside here, we have um, 14,000 litre water tanks. So we collect the water from the roof Okay, John T, let's go. Um, which we use largely, in fact, to fill up the pond during the summer because it gets extremely, um, well, it loses loads of water by evaporation from the, uh, from the house. Oh, let's go up the steps. Let's see what we can see up here. Good boy. And up here, we're in a bit of a mess at the moment because we're just painting the railings, or Ali is. Um, but what you can see is we have lots of citrus here because this bit faces due south. So th this is where all the citrus trees are. Uh, so they're fairly sheltered from the wind, but they produce a huge amount of um, flower and fruit, as you can see. So there you go. Ask out.